okay good day guys you're welcome again to my channel and this is joshua the designer and i'm here to give you another tutorial on product structure but this time this one will help you ease your work make your work easier and faster and more accurate and save you of a lot of stress right so i want to show you how to import your AutoCAD drawing to product structure. How you can import AutoCAD drawings to product structure, All right? So this you're seeing on my screen right now is a general arrangement of a structure that I just did. And I would take you through how I import to product structure. And I want you to pay attention as I do that. So, but before we go ahead, I'd like to inform you of a free structural design class organized by me. And this will commence next month and is totally free for all participants, right? And in this class, we'll be going through all that you've seen on the screen, how to produce a general drawings, the basis, basics of it. Um, we're going to take manual designs and um, designs of structural elements and also we are going to check details of structural elements also right and i will take you through introduction to software designs how to import like i want to show you now modeling of structures the design and how to export and prepare for final drawings okay so do well to apply for this class i would pin the link for re re for registration for application with this video so check through this video um, for the link i would pin it i will attach it to this video apply using the link and you surely get an email if you've been selected for the class um, to participate in this free structural design class coming up next month thank you so let's get to work immediately so now this is a general remain drawing that i just created that i just formed from an architecture right so you can see that this is uh, detailed and neat lovely right so you too can have something like this uh, uh, when you come through my class i'll teach you and you become perfect right so right about now i want to show you how i do mine okay so let us open product structure product structure okay so i'll show you how i go through my so once i open my product structure software i'm taking it through how you yourself will do it so um just pay attention so once you open your product structure and you create a new project maybe okay let's use training okay training so then if you have projects that you want to use um as a template for this new one you can select then you open your product structure automatically all right and now you go back to your autocad now from here you want to listen to this carefully you are done with your general remain drawing if you don't know how to create a general remain drawing as this you may want to watch a particular video on my channel how to the easy way to create general remain drawing it's on my um, channel go through it and also apply for the structural design class i'll teach you how you do it okay so but from here having done this you want to create a new drawing page a new drawing environment to be sure that you don't have any manipulations with your current uh with your current environment but if you're sure that there is no manipulations or that you have not actually done anything that will alter your page you might just leave it that way okay so i want to copy it here i want to copy it here so now i have a new drawing environment with the same with the same drawing that i just copied to this place now having done that what you need to do is to confirm the layers of our elements 
here on this environment right so you want to be sure that your column is carrying the correct layer so clicking your column here you come here and you select column to be sure that is carrying this the correct layer then let's select similar to see if all of them have the same layer so of course all of them have the same layer column right that's perfect so also you want to check your grid lines and see select similar and so our grid lines they have the same axis correct so you're sure that you're good to go so having done that what you do next is you save us save us a dxf file and you can name this import name this import in desktop then you save as dxf okay save now having saved this as dxf file you can now close it so we've, we've closed it now we are done on that part now we want to import what we've just done there to product structure so you i like that you pay attention and watch as i do okay so you go to your file then you click model slash file import okay you see these three items then you select external reference drawing so selecting that you have this pop-up then you can load the dxf file that we just created so you locate it wherever it is that you saved it so this is mine now i've loaded it so i'm waiting for the thing to load as it here as you can see now it's loading okay so once you're downloading you'll see your drawing appear right so this is it now is asking for the unit um you want to work with here so i want to work with mm right which must be the same unit that you prepared it from on autocad so the unit you're selecting here must be consistent with that which um, you use on the autocad right so mm is fine for me and that's what i'll do now you notice that there is something showing on the background but this is a picture you cannot interact with this picture you can only see it as it is now so to make the elements active or the members active you have to now import your members right now okay so you use the second tab which is the import members okay clicking your import members now you can import the axis like we've done there and you remember that we use x6 underscore one for all our axis lines so and the same thing for both directions that's what we used right so we can also import our columns then we you remember that we use column layer for all our columns now having done this you can press ok then okay this one is actually identifying one of those uh lines in my drawing that is not perfectly orthogonal so once i click yes it corrects it for me it modifies it perfectly so let's see let me start to check whether there is an error in the building model but now there isn't an error so i can close now you see what we have now is that we have our columns we have our members transferred we have our columns transferred we have the grid line transferred right so this is exactly how to import your drawings from autocad to product structure but if you hadn't forgotten you remember that i told you on the importance of the grid line in my previous video and that is exactly what you should do now so that your work wouldn't look funny with grid lines representation in your drawing so this is what you do you would start to edit your axis labels your grid labels to be consistent with what you have in your drawing so here yeah, you can see that i have five four three two eight two one right so then i can come back here and edit accordingly right click and start five i update then okay so you can do that to all of these and your drawings will be perfectly looking so this is exactly how to do it Please ensure that you like this video you subscribe to this channel 
and also share with your colleagues that you get better. I am Joshua the designer. Do not forget to apply for the structural design class. It's totally free and the link is attached, pinned to this very video. See you in the class. Bye.